Welcome back to the game, as is you master the Frank Master here. Welcome back to Ocarina of Time Let's Play. Last time I defeated the boss, the War Temple, and now it's time to finally get out of this freaking hell. Into a completely different kind of hell. That hell being love. <laughs> I'm only joking, of course. Hi, Prut Rudo. Is this son? Oh, no. I would have, I would have expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. So as the lady and its people will eventually return to their original self. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Well, that's what I want to say. But I think I can offer that. I can't. I can't offer that now. Whatever. Yeah. I have the guard. I have to guard the water temple as a sage of water. And you, your wife, you're searching for the princess Zelda. Ah, you can't hide anything from me. You cheating bastard. <laughs> princess Zelda, she's alive. I can sense it. We so don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for free peace and justice. You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. I mean, I plan to. <laughs> it looks more like an ice medallion than a water one. Just put it out there. Just, just put it out there. Just saying. You, yep. Thing. Yep. Of course it did. If you see Sheik, give him my thanks, okay? <laughs> oh, what? Who's this Sheik, huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> you call me a cheating bastard, you're no different. <laughs> Freaking ganja bastard. And like that, the liquid water returns. As the water rises, the evil is just, just, just vanishing from the lake. Elkmorf, you did it. Yes, hi, 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 ho, how you doing? Did Ruto want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for the sake, for, for her sake. Look, too, don't we? I, I, if I can read, I'll be great. <laughs> Look at that, Elknorf. Together, you and Princess Ruto destroy the evil monster. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is as if it was before, was here. Yes, I noticed. Yes, that is some good water. <laughs> Just back away like nobody's noticing. Well... Maybe it's maritime. time. That's <laughs> like exit stage left. <laughs> okay, but now that we've finished the War Temple, it's time for some more between temple cleanup. And what well, first thing we need to do here, as you can see the sun rising over there, shoot at it with an arrow. Because the thing the arrow will tell you a hint like saying shoot an arrow at the rising sun or something some, some that regards. And with that, we can get the Fire Arrows, their first appearance in Zelda. And most of the last. Which is only, which is only kind of, this kind of reminds me of like getting the caps from Mario 64 and how you get the, all the arrows. Well, except for one, because one's pretty good to you, but. Yay, Fire Arrows! And yeah, like I said, there's between part time for between uh, dungeon cleanup because like there's not a whole lot left to get in this game in, in terms of like overall. Uh, uh, yeah, I meant to, I meant, meant, to, meant, to, meant to do to get that. <laughs> totally, fucking totally. And there is one more golden skull toll we can get here in Lake Hylia. And we'll, we couldn't get it before without the lawn shot, but now we do have the lawn shot. We can just go ahead and zip on up here. Damn it. 
Okay, we gotta approach this differently. Because Golden Gotola is right up here, the tree freaking branch, damn it. Okay, come on, we're gonna make. Alright, so let's try from here. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, carefully. Okay. Yeah, no, oh, god damn it! <laughs> okay, I, I was aiming for the freaking Golden Skull Tola. Fuckhead, you freaking long shots. Okay, no, I am. This is this is this not this not to be this difficult. I don't know why I'm making it more difficult than it has to be. Come on, all right, all right, all right. And now you die before the sun goes up, comes up. Hopefully, all right. Actually, all the ones in Lake Highly, uh, it is okay. And that puts us at 73. 75 so uh now it's time to go do some more cutting so next time i see you we're gonna be at kakariko village actually before i do what needs to be done over there there actually is one thing i could have gotten for the longest time but i just didn't get it for whatever reason it requires us to whiz redead and go over towards the castle which we head there oh sh the shock the castle's been destroyed and is being, is being, uh, I guess, carried? Yeah, let's go with that, carried. That seemed, that, that seems unfortunate. Someone, somebody should do something about that. Later. Because the only thing that matters here is, there's this going to tolling you here. And it's found this arch, arch, arch way. Just to go over here and turn around. All right, that's it. That's all I want to show. All right, come back to Kakariko. Here we are back in Kakariko, and holy shit, what happened in this place? Jeez, you leave for one temple, and all of a sudden, all everything goes to hell. This is happens what happens when you only have like one guy be hero time. <laughs> and where have in there you there you are. I thought you were taking a dip. Get back, Elk North. <laughs> I don't know why it's so like so, so like gross or robotic. It's coming after us, Elk North. Oh, it's raining too. I wonder if that's supposed to mean something. And ah, ah, look at look at them. <laughs> ah, it's deserved. Deserved. Skip for skip for leaving me. <laughs> as the oog, as the oogie as the oogie boogie bugs start coming after us. It's look, I mean, it's not look like. I guess. No wait. <laughs> Didn't kill us. Looks like it's coming around. You've been out for you, you've been out for six months, Elk Nerf. But what the fuck, Elk Nerf? A terrible, terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of the Kakaru Village, had watched the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit get, grew got so strong that she that seal of <coughs> that seal of the well broke. And escaping to the world. I believe Empa has gone to the Shadow Temple to, to, to seal it again, but she will not be damaged without it. Elknarf, Empa is one of the six sages to destroy the evil Shadow Sphere and save Empa. There is an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard and behind this wealth village. The only thing I can do for you is to teach you this melody that will lead to the Shadow Temple. This knowing that will draw you, draw you into, <laughs> into the infinite darkness that absorbs e even time. Listen to this: the Nocturne of Shadow.
Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Elfnaf. I mean, if you say so. I'm the little woman who's been doing things, okay? It's just... Yeah, it's ready. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> but yeah, Nocturne Shadow, easily probably the most important melody for you to learn. I, that is no joke. Because the thing about Nocturne Shadow is that it leads you right in the backfields of the graveyard of Kekaku Village. So if you ever want to go to the Kekaku Village buy some more potions or li liking, go to, the, go to that place. Also, if you look at the hard piece earlier that we got from, like, jumping up the ladder, this is how you do it now, using the hook shot, or so the long shot to say. And also give us our last golden skull toll of Kakarigo Village. I forgot, just gonna do one of these. Oh, sorry, do one of these. There you go. And that should be the last of the Kakarigo Village golden skull tolls, if I remember correctly. It is, beautiful. Yeah, I'll save that. And yeah, there's two more things you can get before doing the next dungeon. Uh, I mean, I mean, there's some more, more we could theoretically get, but I'll get down more in the cleanup part. Because I'm going to have one part that gets a full-on cleanup. And we'll cross that bridge and we'll get to it, but... It's time to go raise Dompe again. Why? Because I said so. Alright, make we're gonna we're gonna save stay here. Just to make sure that we don't die or anything. Uh, okay. Alright. Alright, so yeah, like I said I recommend you come back here when you, once you have the lawn shot because it will help you be because you need to be do this under a minute. And the best way to do it under a minute, or at least in game I should say, is that there's was a certain part in that lawn treasure area where there's a wooden uh, a wooden torch thing at the at, at, at the exits, and your normal hook shot's not going to reach that. Try as it will, it will not reach that. Uh, so you're going to have to do it the fun way, or so you're going to wait. Sorry, not the fun way. You got to wait to get the lawn shot because lawn shot will definitely reach. You just got to be quick about it too. And it's in this segment over here. Be quick, aim for the aim for the torch. I don't think it's I don't think it's enough. Actually, it might be enough. Hold on, is it enough? You're you're back, young man. Yeah, we didn't get it. It's why it's why we save state. It's why we save state. Come on, there we go. Jeez, one second early. Thank you. And if you if made for you for the minutes, you get a heart piece. Anyway, now it's time to go see a big Goron. Uh, not, so now it's time to go see a big Goron about a... Alright, see if you're ready with that sword now. If now I, got, I might do some sun stones. Sun sunning. Hello, you? No, yet. Hey, you. You are impatient. Oh, yeah, more like you're, more like you're freaking slow. All right. Fortunately, what we can do here, we, we can we can start time traveling. And we're just gonna just we're just gonna use this just a couple times, make it night and day and all that. All right. All right. Let's get to do this over and over again. And so eventually, and then we'll just do it one more time to make sure it stay because I, I want. to and sure. I can't. Come on. There we go. Okay. And now we have the sunstone ready to go. How long does it keep saying sunstone? All right, hopefully, oh, hopefully that's good enough. Here, I finished my sword yet? I was working on the sword come along. Okay. That that is my finest work. There you go, there's the big boy. That's what I'm looking for. That's the good one. Alright. 
And now it's time to time travel once again. So before, before we go into the Shadow Temple, we need to go back as a kid. So, uh, actually before we do the next dungeon, there is still more to be get here. I forgot I got last time. So if you go to this tree right here next to Hyrule, Ta Hyrule Castle and put us on storms, you unlock a secret passage, which leads to our next Skultola. Of course, it requires us these bombs get get, get there, but for which we have, for which we have, we have, we have the leggings. So I don't think it's up here, but is it? Yeah, it's not here. It's a bunch of it's a bunch of random stuff we don't need. <laughs> bunch. It's here. Just jackass. All right, so it's not here. It's over. It's over here. It's, it's always the last one you check. Okay, not what I wanted to do, but whatever. Yep, there we are. Yeah, you, you could have gotten this as soon as you got the on storms because you probably had a boomerang or whatever at that point. I mean, for sure the slingshot, but hey. But okay, let's just quickly go head back there and we can, so yeah, I'll cut back to when we get to the spot we need to go to. This is actually a warp to, I probably should show this off now I was thinking about it, but yeah, this is where you warp to when you, when you, when you're coming back to Hagrigal Village, or the graveyard to say. So now we have, with the, and for the next part, make sure you, make sure you learn sound, sound storms, just once again, put it out there, make sure that's the thing you know. You know, to your heart, I guess. I don't know. It's just terrible. Whatever you want to put it. If I remember correctly, that dude said this is one time this kid decided to play his song and it screwed up everything. I wonder which kid he learned it from. AKA a time paradox, baby. It's just. Sit here. And play the song of storms. As such. And starts making the place go crazy. As it goes, it goes two miles per hour to five miles per hour. A whole kind of fast. Somehow it's tied to the thing. And I'm a guy perpetually mad at us for the rest of his, rest of his life. Hi, right, buddy. Go around, go around, go around. What is going way too fast? Whee! Okay. Should we, should we ride, should we ride at, the, at the Zoo World? Who knows? Or, or, or Nintendo World, now I think about it. I think they're making a Zelda exhibit over there. I know for sure they're making a Donkey Kong exhibit. Uh, I'll, I'll go to that place once more attractions start opening up because I, the way it is, it's not worth the price of mission. Not yet, anyway. Welcome to the bottom of the well, a sort of mini dungeon before the Shadow Temple. In the last dungeon you do as a kid. Or just say the true last, yeah, the true last dungeon to do, do as a kid. How you doing? <laughs> Deserved. Deserved. And yeah, look at that, you just face through walls all of a sudden. What a freaking game! What a freaking game! But yeah, you just if you if you know if you know where to go like I do, if you you, you can just do Dorius without getting the item first. No one ever expects me just to face through walls like that. Let's see, so just the wall here. Yep, there it is. And that, like I said, there, in some of, some of the, the cavern, there is three golden skull tolls here you can get. Let's get away for it. Here we are. Now we can start opening up these doors <laughs> that I totally did not cheat to get. Alright. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much going to guess here because, like, you don't need the, you don't, you don't really need the item you need to get. Or lunch room. I should just say this is lunch room. If you know exactly where to walk, you don't need it. There's one of the one of the golden skull tallas. Yeah, yeah, this can reach. This can reach. It can definitely reach. 
but now if I can aim properly, that'd be great. Beautiful. Okay. And don't worry, if you fall down there, you don't lose you don't lose hearts, but you do get stuck in another like optional area you don't need to be at. I might show it off in case you ever get stuck down there. I'll take your chest. It's like a freaking bastard. Deku nuts. Don't really need. Fortune have bombs. Bombs. Certain X there, but that means something to me. And our door for us to open. Now that's something. That has another golden skull toll for us to get. That's kind of the gimmick here. Like, the majority of the keys you're going to get are just going to lead to Skull Toll is. As this place is not very long, it actually can be kind of fun to go through if, if you know, if you know, if you like, no, no tricks to trade. It's not just that gets better on repeat visits more than its first time, but the first time can be kind of dreadful if you know what you're doing. But just in case you don't know what you're doing, might as well just click Kid Vote Crowds. Yeah, I know Wall Masters are right here. I know Wall Masters are right here. I know Fool. So yeah, let's say you accidentally find a hole and accidentally fall onto the bottom part of the well. Fortunately, it doesn't matter which way you're going from here, come from that way, that way, or that way. It all, all comes down to the same path of another silver ruby puzzle. Okay, we'll read over there. See, so that's where you screw your lungs out, buddy. But I don't give a fuck. <laughs> the last one's all the way up here. Eventually. Yep. And that's pretty much why that's pretty much the way you need to go to if you ever get stuck down there. Because I know because trust me, I fell down there plenty of times back in the way through. Don't worry, just walk through this wall. It's invisible. And yeah, you're pretty much back over here now. I still don't even have a map. Alright, so soon I think there's another invisible thing here. Yeah, here it is. And that's how you get this thing here, which is the map, I believe. Where's the compass? It's one of two. <laughs> yeah, the compass for the map. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Alright, so do we, we need to kind of raise we need to lower the water level here in a second. I have another bomb for your ass. There you go. Alright, All right, so I'm gonna say so here because I know there's an invisible floor here. I don't wanna kinda wanna wanna fall down it. Alright, beautiful. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew what happened. I knew it. That's why, that's why I do it. That's why I save state. That's why I freaking save state. But yeah, I pretty much just like a thing there and it just indicates to blow, blow the shit up, which we just did, so hey, uh. Hey, more Deku Nuts we don't need. Woo! Hello. You can kill him with a boomerang or a slingshot if you choose, but. I think I easily don't you know they'll run on me. Don't let them, let them be. All right, careful there. There is a bombless pit there, and it is gonna be a problem. I don't have a key. I don't have a. I don't have a key. <laughs> so we can't get that, unfortunately. Not yet, anyway. All right, this guy's bothering me. He needs to die. Later, <laughs> when he comes back around. Anyway, see, real simple. That, mean, that, that gives you that indication to play as well as all about again. Oh no, not more water level raising, you might be thinking. Don't worry, it's just, you gotta do one place once, and it just gets with the water period. I guess the goddess of water really hate, really hate the royal family. That's a, that, that's my indication. I'm a, I mean, you, 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 you tell me, honestly. There we are. <clears throat> no, I didn't mean to fucking die. Alright, but now with the water, water lowered. 
we can there's a certain area we can go to over here near close to the entrance but not fully yep thank you Sharky. Yeah, that's bombs never mind bombs and now it's time to get now it's time to get the item of this place Yeah, I never, he never stood a chance. And now for a bit of a, a bit of a boss, this creepy abomination of a boss fight, it called Dead Hand, and he's definitely something to look at. I just shimmy, shimmy, yay, shimmy, yay, shimmy, yaws. The only way to get him is that he has obviously hands. So I'll come and grab you and try to stun you. Because his only method of attacking you is by biting you. Let the, let the cannibal he is, I guess. And, uh, he only, he, only the, he only hit him in the head. So the way he gives a spawn is that he gets stuck in his hands. And he'll come shimmy shimmy yay shimmy yay shimmy all over to you. As the great gobble or whatever the fuck that meme was back in 2018. And just keeps swiping at his ass to eventually dies. Now, fortunately, you can't use a big gun. Now, even though we get to get the big Goron sword, we can't use it as a kid because it's just, I guess, too big for us to carry. Like, usually. Oh, God damn it. Back off. Okay, come on. Shimmy, shimmy over here. It takes a bit of, it takes a bit of hits to kill. It takes a big, good bit of hits to kill. Grab me again, thank you. Get off me! All right. All right, come here. Keep on shimmying. And he's dead. And with that, oh, and with that, magic jar means one thing. It's time for a du our dungeon item, which will help us in the shadow temple. And the fur, and the first of its appearance. Shows itself as the lens of truth, which pretty much shows you miserable things that weren't there before. Such as, eventually, this is, this is the game will let me. Let's put this part of this bad boy in our X slot. This treasure chest back here. So, yeah, the lens of truth shows a bunch of things like. It will show you visible things, visible chests, visible doors, all that. And also, we went to Harpy Seizure, the one we got from that Treasure Trust game back in Iron Market Town. Uh, there you go. It's now made easier. Thanks to the power of Flex Tape. <laughs> the, it does cost magic to use, though, so. Don't use it. Uh, re re don't use it religiously, I guess. Hold on. Actually, I, this isn't our chest down here. Oh no! All right. So yeah, we, we gotta find our key first. Just the one more skull toll we need to get, and we have yet to yet to obtain it. I think the thing's right here, actually. That's just a ninja's heart. Just a heart. Might have shelf us from anyway. For the hell of it. Oh yeah, the key's in here, that's right. Let's get our Deku stick ready. We gotta find the right key here too. Fuck good shop get though. Yeah, here's the Gibdos. They're also making their appearance here in this uh, dungeon. They're quite innate too. They're like they're pretty much re-deads, but pretty much re-deads, but with bandages over them. I believe, I believe that's actually a Gibdo tomb, so we should probably not mess with that. Yes, it is. Okay, but the keys. But yeah, how much we'll, we'll give it in this room is that you gotta use the decorative set like the torches, and hopefully one has a key in it. Definitely you. 
Square Gavin is going to be the last, last two might find. This might happen though. It has nothing! Woo! I love nothing! Shut up, Gibdo! Jesus Christ almighty. There you go. So yeah, it's the last two we're checking here. It's in there. There I guess. Alright. It's not here. Oh, it wasn't here. What the fuck? Oh, I just... Missed it. Just freaking missed it. Oh, oh for fuck! Oh, well, there goes my Deku shield. Dick. I was honestly sure saw this coming. Alright, we're getting the fuck out of here. I'm not, I'm not doing that freaking keys. No, get those shut up! Shut the fuck up and leave me be! So this so that, so keep the mummy here won't let me let me be or let me be me so let me see I think I'm gonna shoot him down right in the knees because just because it feels so empty without me or something like that I don't know. Hey, like I said, there's more golden skull toys for us to get, so let's go get it. Careful, there is a bombless pit there you don't want to mess with. Almost. Not that, that you. I'm gonna do this. All right, careful. Damn it, it's not careful in the slightest. Damn it. I don't. Why do I keep doing that? Yep. I saw it coming too. The problem with these invisible ledges too is that you don't hop off them like. Like uh, like a normal edge. You just, you just fall. Right, fuck off. Fuck off, you like like piece of shit. Damn it! No, 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 no! It's gonna save my freaking shield. You know what? Yes, it did. Well, too bad I got back, so you ain't doing, you ain't stealing shit. Ah, it's a lot of work again to you. A lot of work. I hope you're, oh, I hope you're happy. That should be the last hit. Yes, it is. And we're going to end it there. So thank you all for watching. Be your master of the Frank Master. Continue master of this game. Out in the next part. So I'll see you guys then.